Hey, this is Jamie from Stillmeyer Games, and I feel like this camera is really out of focus, but we'll see. Let me know if you can see what I am putting down here on the table right now. We have Scythe, Honey Buzz, and Euphoria for today's round three of game 36. Um, yeah, and I'll talk about the Honey Buzz realm is a new one. There's a new promo realm right here. And what you're basically doing here is crossing off numbers and you don't gain any instant benefits when you cross off a number unless you cross off a number in such a way that all of the numbers around a honey hex are crossed off and in that case you complete that honey hex and you gain all the benefits in the hexes adjacent to that honey hex there's a little bit of i feel like we've been getting the question a lot of can you get six stars from this realm and yeah you can there's this star right here you score once when you complete this honey hex and you also get it when you complete this honey hex that's how you get it so you're not crossing off the benefits ever you're only crossing off the numbers let's jump in and see what numbers we're going to get today and i'm going to try really hard to complete honey buzz it's a tough one to complete but it's worth it you can get a big payoff from honey buzz we have a six and a one to start off here um we need some early resources for sure. That'll help us get moving in Scythe. In Scythe, you technically really only need six numbers to complete it, but you need some resources to pull it off, and Honeybuzz does not provide early resources. So let's go with a, a one over in Euphoria, I think, to get a coin. And a six. Where can we put a six that we can complete it fairly early? Uh, there's not a great place to do that, but I'll put it... I'll put it right here. We'll use the six right there. And I could use a one. Now, I'm going to save that coin. I think I'll, I'll need that coin later. We don't need to rush side. Let's move on to turn two. Turn two, we have a five and a four. Five and four. So with four, five. So I could use the five in scythe to gain a heart and use this coin to also get the star at the bottom. In Euphoria, we're hoping for pairs. Pairs would be great in Euphoria. And five, five is decent in Honey Buzz. I've already started working on this area here. Uh, so it's not, not terrible there. All I'd rather, I think a four would be a little bit better so I can use the five inside. So yeah, this is gonna be, this is actually a pretty tough combination for what I'm seeing. We really need to get Honey Buzz moving. Maybe even I could try to accelerate it if we can get some pumpkins and double up on it. So four could go there. Oh, there's only one four in Honey Buzz. Well, let's use it. There's a four. And we'll use the five over here and spend the coin to get a star. That gets us a heart, but we have to spend a coin to do it. Turn three. A pair of sixes. Ooh, okay. That's great for Euphoria. Or pretty good for Euphoria. So I can, with a single six, I can cross off both sixes in Euphoria. That ends up getting me two stars. I still have a six left. And if I get a heart out of it, which I'm not going to get, but if I could, then um, then I would get to use another six somewhere else. But I, I don't have that uh, possibility. So I could use the six inside. It's not a bad place to do it. But I really need to keep moving along on Honey Buzz if I want to do anything of, of substance, I think, in Honey Buzz. Oh, that's tough. It does happen to align with, with Scythe right, right there, which I like. But I'll have other chances for Scythe. So let's put the six right there in Honey Buzz. Turn four. A four and a one. Four and a one. I've already used a four in Honey Buzz, but ones I can definitely use in Honey Buzz. That one... This is probably the closest one. This one will matter the earliest. So let's do that one. Still no resources gained from Honey Buzz. We need to start completing those Honey Hexes. And really, I'm not all that close to completing any of them yet. Um, but actually, if I can get a three, a three will be huge in Honey Buzz. And then the four, the four doesn't really work in, in Scythe all that well. So we'll use the four in Euphoria. Um... We'll get one more star out of Euphoria here, right there. We could get one more out of, Euph out of Euphoria on the other area, but we're not going to get a lot of stars from Euphoria. We really need to generate a lot of resources there this, this, uh, this game. Turn five. All right, we need to do stuff inside. There's a three. I said I wanted a three. I got a three. 
I don't know if I'm going to get the uh, what I need for Scythe, but we'll see. The three, definitely need the three in Honey Buzz right there. So now we're very, like that one helps out with four, uh, four um, Honey Hexes. So that's great. Then we have the number four to still use. What do we want to do with that? So I could use it over here in Scythe, which gives me a coin, but I don't get the bottom row benefit. I could use the, the one in Euphoria then. I think that's probably the play. Let's use the one right there. I, I won't use the bottom row benefit, but I could come back to that later if I want. I just need a specific number for it. I gain a coin, and now let's create a one value coin to use. Ooh, do I want to use it? I can't use it there, so I have to use it here to get a pumpkin and a heart. I think that'll be important. I just need to generate some resources at this point in the game. All right. A five and a four. This is turn six. A five and a four. As always, if I go too fast here, feel free to pause. No worries about that. Five and a four. Neither of them really work in that, or neither of them work at all in the top row of Scythe, but in the bottom row, I could use a five over here. I might end up doing that. What do I need over in Honey Buzz? A five is good. I like the five there. We'll use the five in Honey Buzz. So close to getting a bunch of resources from Honey Buzz. The payoff is going to happen really soon. The four, let's use the four in Euphoria right there and get a bunch of resources. So I'm, go I'm done getting stars in Euphoria. I'm just here to get resources now. And do I want to copy something to use in Scythe? I wonder if it's time to do that because I could copy... Oh no, if I copy something, I don't have the resources to actually benefit to, to benefit from. So, yeah, nothing else here. We're, we are falling behind on Scythe a little bit, but we, we have three turns left. I think I can get three more stars out of Scythe. A three and a three. All right, this is a copyable number. Yeah. With pairs, you can use two hearts to copy the number. I need a three over here in Honey Buzz. Not exactly the best placement for it right now, but I'll take it. Got that three. We can use, if I can get a coin, oh, I need a coin. Hmm. I think I'll just have to use it in the bottom row. I'll use the bottom row and scythe here. It costs me a heart, and then I will spend two hearts to use the other three, and I'll use it over here in Euphoria. I also could, no, no, I don't have the, the pumpkin to do it, so I will use it in Euphoria. It doesn't matter which side I use it in. There is another pumpkin, another heart. I guess I could have done that first. Nah, well, I won't, I won't go back. But if I'd done Euphoria first, then I would have had three pumpkins, and then I could have doubled up on Honey Buzz. But that's okay. Turn eight. A four and a five. The five is decent inside. I'll probably use it there. Four. Oh, there's a five and a four. I also need a five in Honey Buzz. I still have not completed anything in Honey Buzz. And I've used fours in Euphoria. So I really want, I want five, five, and five. So I need to manipulate that four into a five, basically. Let's get a star. I think that's worth it. So there's one. And then I'll use two pumpkins to manipulate this four into a five. And we'll use that over here in Honey Buzz right there. Still no Honey, bu honey Buzz. Honey hexes completed. Maybe I just need to be more focused on Honey Buzz of really completing one early. Right now, I'm kind of just going with the numbers I get rather than really working towards anything. That could be a mistake. Because really now, it's coming down to the final turn. I have three more numbers to cross off. Let's see what we get. We need twos and ones. I really need a two. Have we rolled a two? No, I have not rolled a two yet. Those aren't twos. Five and a six on my last roll. Oh, those are nowhere close to what I need in Honey Buzz. I may not get any payoff in Honey Buzz. I can get a star from Scythe, and five is good in Euphoria. Let's do the five first to see if I can pull off something. There's a pumpkin and a heart. No, I'm not, I'm not going to get it. Too little uh, coin generation in Euphoria. The six will go over here in Scythe. Cost me a pumpkin. Give me a star. Oh, honey buzz. Oh, no, I missed one. I, oh, you probably caught this on camera if you're watching. I totally missed that I did complete this honey buzz hex earlier. That would have given me a star and a heart. Not that that heart would have really mattered. That's not the best honey hex to complete first, but it is a complete honey hex. There's a star. I'm on the board. 
So that's a total of eight. This might be my lowest score ever in uh, in Rolling Realms. I have an 8.3. Not this round score, but my game score is very low. What am I looking at here? That's 27, uh, 28.3, 28.6. Yeah, that might be my lowest score ever. I hope you beat it, and I hope you had fun playing along with me. Um, I'll be back in a few weeks to do this again. I'll go back to Facebook Live for that one. It's fun to do it on Facebook. And every now and then I might pop over and do it in the Stillmire Games Discord server. So feel free to join that. You'll see it in our e-newsletters if you, if you subscribe to those. Thanks for playing. Have a great day, great weekend, whatever you're playing this. And let me know how you scored in the comments below. Thanks.